already you know the news are coming this can you know the ai bots can make food they can yeah, do yeah. security and they can do you know all kinds of basic automation the car plants are yeah, yeah. mostly run by bot the changes are so scary and everyone is worried you know if all the normal or routine jobs are going yeah. to go away what's your perspective on that this tech is here to stay and it's only going to kind of get better and more sophisticated in what it can do ai won't replace your job but someone who uses ai will i think people need to be still very kind of driven and focused on you know their role in the world what they're going to kind of contribute and what kind of ultimately makes them happy and what they want to kind of spend their, their time doing you can't really ever put a technology back in a box and we've had sort of like various disruptions sort of over human kind of hundreds of kind of years will be this periodically oh my god like electricity is now kind of available and look at what the kind of like air travel is now available these kind of things so i think that you know let's first be be honest with ourselves this this tech is here to stay and it's only going to kind of get better and more sophisticated in what it can do the sort of the things which ai is arguably replacing are things which are potentially sort of more on the monotonous kind of like it's it's task which like you do a few times and that aren't necessarily too complicated and that's where ai is kind of being kind of used and deployed and so like having them kind of like write uh, sales pitches and marketing like this is going to be there but i think it's like how people use it because i think of it as almost like extending the almost like the the thinking time where suddenly it's like well i was going to kind of draft this this email to this person but i've got like five versions here that ai has just produced for me and i can just pick the the one that i like the most and i freed up some more time so i think it gives you back the most important thing in life which is kind of like time and like what you actually kind of do with it but i think that obviously nothing is ever perfect in terms of like its role like where society is a whole is kind of ready suddenly these things are are upon us and we can use them and it's like well how should they be used and how are they going to kind of roll out and it's it's not a a nice gradual process we we've got to, we're in this kind of disruptive time so i think that it's it's a hard to know exactly where these things will take us because each week you switch on the news and there'll be like some new kind of ai innovation but i i can totally understand like where there is that kind of cause for concern about like what how people are people going to get displaced and how people get kind of like reskilled over time but um yeah i just i don't have all the answers yeah. but it's uh, no, i think that's time will tell yeah. where it goes but I, i i do believe you know uh i think it's futile to stop the progress yeah. you know yeah. the same argument as you said when the electricity came car yeah. came yeah. automation came you know the yeah. people the skill gets replaced but then you move on to something yeah. else you are not yeah. doing um I also remember you know one of my first job was automating a steel plant yeah, yeah. and the uh, the entire fear was there but the most important part was you know when everything was being done manually there were accident there were you know lives were being yeah, lost yeah. but once you do the automation the same people they move behind yeah, yeah. the computer screens and yeah. now they were doing the same job but they were yeah. not risking their yeah. their life over there so it took couple years for that transition but i think it was a better world you also work with lot of universities academic yeah, as yeah, part yeah. of our you know industry yeah. faculty yeah. relationship and at the same point of time you have also undergrad yes, interns yeah. that you are currently yeah. working with yeah. what are you seeing with the colleges and all how they are adopting the way written work is evaluated is almost like they're at a point now where they there's just no expectation that they can almost like this differentiate between the output from some of the kind of the latest and greatest uh, language models so how work is assessed in that way is different but they're still focused on teaching the fundamentals not teaching people how to use these kind of tools so kind of like people you know it's like still need to if it's in the computer science you still need to learn how to program you know these are, are kind of key things yes there are tools to kind of like help help you but um really if you don't understand the core fundamental you're only going to get so far one concluding thought that you know uh, uh, for the for this podcast yeah. is what what suggestion you will have for upcoming engineers so non engineers yeah. and you know the people who are just entering into the workforce because you know they are the one who are yeah. really yeah. Yeah. worried about you know that yeah. what is my yeah. Yeah. role in this whole whole uh, uh, revolution that is happening on ai a few a few thoughts so um 
one is kind of an obvious one is like really embrace the technology um, and I think there's, there's this sort of phrase that someone's saying like uh, AI won't replace your job but someone who uses AI will and this is really around the fact that um, it just efficiency productivity just you know you don't want to spend like hours like manually kind of writing some code when you can have this wonderful kind of co-pilot assistant kind of help you do it but I think if you're almost at the same time you're a kind of a graduate kind of coming through is really is like know your fundamentals and being able to kind of understand how these kind of tools are, are working and how you can where they will work well where they will kind of fall short um, is kind of like another sort of key thing if you have a an idea where it's like this this is something which is going to and a benefit society it's going to save these people some time or money whatever it is i'm going to build this having that kind of conviction about something which is going to you know make the, the world a better place more interesting that you can kind of work on is kind of key don't be sort of expecting this sort of like the ai systems are going to somehow tell you what to do i think people need to be still very kind of driven and focused on you know, their role in the world, what they're going to kind of contribute and what kind of ultimately makes them happy and what they want to kind of spend their, their time doing. Um, and thinking of these as tools as like accelerators and they're not something in their own right. Okay, great. Well, it was always uh, great chatting with you, Jan, and I hope our conversation was worthwhile for the people as well. Uh, hopefully we'll connect again on yeah. some unique and different topic. Thank uh, you, Mohit. Yeah.